Hey gang, welcome to the first top 10, or Doc Schlock top 10, sorry. <laughs> Still a little weirded out over what happened on New Year's. I really should not have drank chocolate milk mixed with root beer, mixed with vanilla ice cream. Worst brain freeze ever. But yes, it is another edition of Doc Schlock Top 10s, where it's the first top 10 of the year, and I'm doing my own personal picks of the top 10 worst horror movies I reviewed in 2016. Gang, I gotta tell you, I reviewed a lot of really bad horror movies last year, but uh, these were the 10 that I just said, you know what? You'd have to really, 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 really torture me to make me sit through these movies again to watch them. Just to watch them. But let's get things going, of course, with number 10. And it goes to... Hide and Go Shriek. Uh, so, so, slasher movie. Number 9 goes to The Rejuvenator. Fountain of Youth turns you into a zombie. Number 8 goes to Python. Big ol' snake. Number seven goes to Attack of the Giant Leeches, the 2008 remake. Something hungry is in the water. And it looks like a bunch of garbage bags. Number six goes to Unfriended, the only well-known horror movie on this list. So spoiler alert on that one. Number five goes to Kill Them and Eat Them. Eh, uh, probably maybe not in that order. Number four goes to Curse of Pirate Death. It's no Pirates of the Caribbean. Of course, I didn't like them either. Number three goes to Skin Deep. Sure, it certainly was to get this movie done. Number two goes to Killer Camp Out. Not exactly a Friday the 13th ripoff, but something even lamer. But my, but my number one pick of the worst horror movie I reviewed in 2016 has to go to Nail Gun Massacre. Oh, good freaking lord. So there you guys have it, my picks of the top 10 worst horror movies I reviewed in 2016. Nail Gun Massacre had to be the dumbest, lamest horror movie I think I reviewed out of, out of everything of last year. And that's really saying something. Uh, it was full of bad one-liners, really bad acting, so many moments that make you go, huh? And an ending that almost seemed like it was almost sort of a, a twist, I guess. Or when the killer was revealed, you sit there and go, that kind of makes sense? But yeah, it was really, really bad. Killer Camp Out, the movie was about an hour long, I think over an hour long. Uh, I think the movie itself was around maybe 55 minutes, and the last 5-10 minutes of the movie are, are bloopers going through the... Um, the uh, the credits still a pretty bad movie Skin Deep uh, a movie that the only star of it was Warwick Davis and he had to play second or third fiddle to a bunch of uh, badly done up mutant freaks and bad acting and uh, he played he played a guy named Plates that's yeah Curse of Pirate Death another movie with a with a well known star in it Ron Jeremy uh, pretty bad, lame horror movie. Uh, it's it, it might still be on the Kings of Horror channel if you guys want to go check it out. But it, believe me, it was it was incredibly, incredibly, incredibly bad. But not bad enough to be number one though. Uh, kill them and eat them. Labeled a horror comedy, and I don't even know why because I don't remember laughing at it, and I don't really remember enjoying it either, to be honest with you. Uh, Unfriended again, the only known movie in this list. Uh, it was pretty bad, and it actually had a uh, movie that was that you could either call it a somewhat sequel or ripoff or something. And uh, I've seen a little bit of it, and it looks really, really bad. So if I can catch it, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely review it for you guys. Uh, Attack of the Giant Leeches from 2008. I'm sorry, gang, but that was those so-called leeches I don't know they, they looked like tires wrapped in black garbage bags I don't know it was, they were, it was a horrible horrible movie I mean I'm, I'm sure they were trying to do sort of a shot for shot remake but still failed and that ending was really really lame Python 
Many people call it an Anaconda ripoff, and uh, they kind of give top billing to Robert England in the movie, and um, they 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 kind of do that with a lot of these uh, low budget horror movies. I mean, you know, a lot of people said uh, you know they didn't like Trick or Treat from 1986 because it, they said, well, Gene Simmons and Ozzy Osbourne was billed top credit for it, and I said, and I was like, well, yeah, they had to sell the DVD. <laughs> Uh, the Rejuvenator, really bad, really bad horror movie about a woman who wants to stop the aging process, and it turns out it turns bad on her. And again, it's 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 science trying to play God and failing again. And uh, Hide and Go Shriek, it, it pretty much got the number ten spot because I didn't really care for it that much. It was a pretty bad slasher movie, but you know when 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 the when the killer was revealed, it's kind of weird. But, I don't know, a bunch of grown adults playing hide-and-go-seek in a, in a factory. And, uh, and, you know, you're thinking, you're like, we got the one killer here. We know who the killer is. And they just kind of turn a twist on you and like, really? Well, it's different, but I just didn't really care for the movie that much. All right, gang. Well, got to tell you all about the upcoming top tens over uh, next Tuesday and the following Tuesday. Uh, well, good news and bad news about them. The bad news is, unfortunately, I will not be able to do a top 10 worst horror movies uh, requested in 2016 by fellow YouTubers because, unfortunately, I didn't do a whole lot of requests last year. And I'm really sorry about that, but I was trying to hold off on uh, for Doc Schlock by request number 100 for you guys, give you more time to vote on them. Um, but I am going to do some more requested videos this year that is a definite promise and a definite guarantee gonna happen so that hopefully next year we can do top 10 worst horror movies requested by fellow youtubers uh next tuesday will be of course the top 10 worst holiday horror movies i reviewed in 2016 and then following that the first ever top 10 worst movies that was put into a dumpster in 2016 and um yeah Lots more stuff coming up on this channel in the, in the new year. Of course, like I said, and of course, the return of Doc Schlock will be happening very, very soon. And uh, spring break. When spring break hits here, I'm going to do something I should have done last year, but I couldn't. But I'm going to do it for you guys this year. On spring break, Shark Schlock Week. Kind of ironic, huh? You go to the beach and there's sharks and all that. Uh, and then uh, when Shark Week happens later this year, I'll do another Shark Schlock Week for you guys. And... Uh, Spring Break edition of Shark Schlock Week. Going to start off with a movie that my wonderful, beautiful wife, Sarah, suggested I watch. And believe me, that's going to be the first one I review. Oh, yeah. Is it bad? You doggone betcha it is. But, uh, but uh, yeah, that's about all I got for you guys for right now. Uh, and of course, uh, I'm still asking for you guys picks for the uh, for the worst sci-fi movie remakes. Now it can be any kind of sci-fi remake that there is. Uh, the Day the Earth Stood Still, uh, 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 War of the Worlds, anything like that. If it was a sci-fi remake, send it in. That's the next one I'm hoping to do for Schlocktoberfest 2017. That of course was requested by a fellow YouTuber. It goes by the name of What. Uh, that's his name, what? Uh, <laughs> and of course, if you guys got a top ten you'd like for me to do for you sometime, send it to me in a message. And I'll do one for you just as soon as as soon as possible. Um, got one top ten coming up uh, before too long. I, I, I might do it for the final uh, top ten of this month. Uh... I forgot the name of it. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll definitely do it for you guys. Uh, no, it. I, uh, uh, top ten worst rip-off horror movies requested by a fellow YouTuber goes by the name of Christopher Harris, and uh, he sent me quite a few. So I think I'll do that one for the last Tuesday of this month, following all three of these. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my videos in 2016. Hopefully, 2017 is gonna really blow the roof off what I reviewed last year, and I really hope and I really hope you guys having an awesome. 2017. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. If you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe and uh, send me in a top 10 you want me to do for you sometime, but only put it in a message, because uh, otherwise it kind of spoils it for everybody else. <laughs> and I'll definitely give you credit for your top 10, too. Alright, gang. I'm going to get on out of here. I'm going on way too long. Thanks for watching. God bless. 
and uh, we'll see what 2017 brings on. Probably more and more worse horror movies. Until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.